Well, hello. How are you guys? Been going for a minute, huh? Well, first of all, I want to say if you're new to the channel, hey, nice to see you. Glad you're going to walk this journey with me. Hopefully you hit subscribe. It is free. I tell you guys that all the time. We have finally made it to 300 subscribers, so I'm happy about that. Yay. And if you're new, old to the channel, been here before, thank you for coming back and continue to walk this journey with me. Y'all, this hair is just in my way. But anyway, yes, we've been going for a minute because guess what? She had a little minor emergency. So she had a little tiny like little surgery on her toe. So yeah. And guess what y'all? I haven't got to use my inflatable <laughs> mattress yet that I bought so I can stomach sleep because my little patient here has had to have pillows and keep her foot up and just been so this so that was just gonna be too much going on in the bed. So we you know if you wanna see it. Well, actually, what we'll do is I'll show you a little clip of it at the end when they remove the nail and everything on the blood. Ugh. But, <laughs> but you know, yes, this is the second time it's happened to her. Um, they removed it last year, grew back worse. Um, and she was having problems walking. As y'all know, she works in corrections and she has to walk around a lot. So we had to take focus off of baby combing and put it on big baby Coleman for about a week so i have not been able to do too much of anything but take care of big baby Coleman. but you know i don't mind taking care of my big baby <laughs> yes i don't mind taking care of my big baby but so now we're gonna back up to what's going on here so how's baby Coleman doing he's a kicker he's definitely a kicker, a kicker. and for some reason she'll start talking she calms him down uh, no, no, he's no, he's not doing nothing right now. He probably just chillaxing because he just ate. <laughs> so he probably gonna eat, he probably gonna sleep, even though that makes him active, which it did. It made him active when I first got done eating. Now, mm -mm. he's somewhere in there doing a cartwheel or something. But <laughs> I don't feel him. <laughs> but she can calm down. Like he'll get in a real odd position. Like if I'm laying in the bed, she'll come get in the bed, start talking. Just as calm. I said, that's going to be her little bosom buddy. I got this feeling. They're going to be two peas in a pod. Because for some reason, when she, he, or she, when he hears her voice, y'all, I'm telling you, I'm in for it. I'm in for it. I'm going to just be out the way. You know what? I'm just been the carrier. I'm telling you. Because if you, I mean, it's hard to explain it, but he could be doing whatever. I remember I've been telling y'all, he's a kicker, he's a kicker, he's a kicker. As soon as they hear her voice, it's like, he just stops and listens like, you know, E.F. Hutton. When E.F. Hutton talks, everybody listen. This is her. This baby, I don't know, but we did. Oh, y'all got my crib. So we did get the crib. So we are making progress on Baby Boy Coma's nursery. I am going to give you a nursery tour as soon as the nursery is up. I was going to wait till March to put the nursery up, which is about two months before he's born. And get the nursery ready. But... Couple of my subscribers like just go ahead and do it. Just just get it done. And y'all say She did. So I got a thousand dollar crib on a tremendous discount. I am so excited about that because I just knew this this nursery was gonna cost me an arm and a leg. But God just made a way out of no way because I really, 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 really wanted this particular crib. And I'm like, am I gonna really pay that kind of money? Honestly, y'all. <laughs> I got like Hmm. My bed was a thousand dollars. You know, I know I'm being it for a minute. So to think about a baby that, yeah, he, he might make it the taller bed status with it, but whoo, that one took a minute. And to get it at the tremendous discount that I got it at, I am so blessed. I am so excited about it. Let's get it. We had to get it, y'all. And it makes it so bad. We actually had to rent a U-Haul on Saturday to go get this crib. So it was because our truck's in the shop. I don't know if I told y'all that or not, but our truck's in the shop. So that's a whole nother story. But anyway, so we went and rented this U-Haul. And that whole morning, I'm like, are we going to do this? Are we not going to do this? Are we going to do this? She was like, are you crazy? We're going to do it. So baby boy Coleman has a crib. And yes. And right after that, I'm telling you, everything just falls in place. The young lady who is going to do the nursery, um, laying that set the bedding she actually came what probably 20 minutes after we got back from picking up the crib um to come over there to do to do the measurements and everything so it kind of all fell in the place to do the laying that so hope 
fully. And the next couple weeks, we can put... Well, y'all won't get a whole nursery tour because everything won't be there yet. But y'all can kind of see the crib and see the direction that we're heading, which is exciting because I'm excited and I can't wait. I want to pop and let everybody know. But I'm trying to keep it under wraps because... Whew, this is going to be a spoiled baby, y'all. Yes, spoiled baby. You're going to be spoiled. Y'all. Guess what? We're still doing some shopping. Clothes shopping. Okay. We've seen some cute outfits. We had to get it. Y'all, did I tell you she got shopping we addiction, right? We had to get it. It's so, a must. So, was it Saturday? No, Sunday. Yesterday we went. But, yeah. okay. But well, Saturday we went to Raleigh after we went to get the crib. And we're in Raleigh shopping. And, oh, baby, this is so cute. Oh, baby, this is so cute. So, baby boy got about, a, what, another $100 worth of clothes that baby boy did not need. Because baby boy had everything, but baby boy got it. Then yesterday, my wife wanted to go to Virginia. And you know her foot messed up. So I drove to Virginia and we go there and mind you, we're supposed to stay out the baby section. No baby section. <laughs> the first no, mind you, the door we went in, the baby section. <laughs> I was trying to go in the other door and park by the other door to avoid the baby section. Huh, went smack into the baby section. So we're in the baby section. I'm like, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. But I cannot leave certain things at a store. Because I'm like, oh, you're going to be so good now. Oh, my God. And we have no clue what this baby going to look like. We have no clue about this. We have no clue about nothing. We just know his name. By the way, we do know Baby Boy Coleman's name. So Baby Boy Coleman name is in concrete. But we're not telling anybody. Everybody wants to know what Baby Boy Coleman's name is going to be. Let me just tell you like this. He's going to be unique like his parents. And part of my name is part of it. Hmm. So that, well, part of his middle name. So that's gonna. Um, and actually, part of her name is part of the middle name. So both our names. Both our names. The mixture. Uh, of some degree, because he's gonna have two middle names. So both of our names, to some degree, are part of his middle names. And his first name is gonna. Whew, yeah, just to let you know, okay. it is not like some type of ghetto thing. No, 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 no. We're both our names to one. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not like no Indigo no, City. Like or Indi some Indi crap. Indi I don't know. Indy like City, like City Lynn. I know. It's nothing yeah. like that. Two separate names that mean something for both of us. <laughs> so one of them have to do with me. One of them have to do with her. And of course, Coleman. Because it's baby boy Coleman. First name is definitely, well, all the names are under wrap. So, but we just want to let you know at Nine weeks and two days into this, baby boy Coleman has a name. And I'm going to tell you, it was solidified when I actually ordered his come home from the hospital outfit that has his name on it. So we really were going back and forth. No, the first name we kind of settled on way back when. Believe it or not, the middle name, we were going between the two names we we're talking about. And the girl who came in to do the layonette was like, why don't you use them both? Just do it like this. And it sounded good. And we were like, hmm, it'll work. So and it has a nice ring to it. It does. It has a nice flow to it. It has a nice ring to it. He will definitely know that he is loved and that he is special and that he was wanted. And there's a lot of thoughts. Yes. That yes. Because remember, we were team girl. And for a girl name, we knew girl name five years ago. <laughs> a girl name was a no-brainer for us. We already had a girl name. But for this boy name, it took me all of 19 weeks. <laughs> nah, we knew. I think it was in stone for us. Well, the middle names were in stone for us Saturday when the girl came over as far as the laying that set. But the first name was in stone for us about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we final settled on the first name because it was going to be actually his first name was going to be one of the middle names. And then we changed it out because the, this first name just really resonated for both of us to keep him unique, to keep him his own person, because we feel like he is unique. He is his own person. And this is his story to tell his journey to tell. So we decided that this name was just perfect for him. Now, of course, you know, a lot of people say, well, wait till you see what he look like to come up with his name. This name is him. Regardless if he looks blue, pink, green, yellow, we don't care. The name is for him. Yeah. So. And 
if you do decide to see this, mm -hmm. baby Coleman, like we were saying, <laughs> your name is unique. Yes. So make sure. Now it's not crazy though. It's not a crazy unique name. It's not crazy. It is a name that you see all the time. You just don't see it. You rarely see it for a person. It isn't a name that is out there. Um, it is a name that people use quite a bit, but not as a name. Not as a name for somebody. It is a word that people use quite a bit. So you know, we're just excited. <laughs> So yes, but yes, I am 19 weeks, two days, and I feel amazing. I feel absolutely amazing. I'm feeling this little peanut kicking the crap out of me all the time, but now right now he's calm, so he must know that I'm having a calm conversation with y'all. Um, still not eating meat like that, but I did have some fish today, but he lets me eat seafood, so that's a no-brainer, kind of figured, you know. And yesterday, oh, okay, so yesterday, like I said, we were shopping in Virginia, so I took her to the Outback. Because, you know, I'm babying her. Because she my big baby Coleman right now. And, y'all, the baby let me eat steak. Oh, surf and turf. Because I had the lobster tip. And I had the steak. And let me tell y'all. Now, I've been to a lot of Outbacks. I'm not really a red meat eater. But we've been to a lot of Outbacks. Now, the service wasn't so great. She still got a tip. The service wasn't so great. But that steak was probably the best steak I have ever had from an outback. That thing was cut like butter. It was like, oh, okay. Juicy. Yes. Don't need any A1 sauce. That was a perfect steak. And when I tell y'all how I was going to set steak out to make on the grill yesterday, because it was beautiful here in North Carolina yesterday. So I literally was going to make some steak on the grill, but I was like, eh, well, since we're going to Virginia, then I'm not going to worry about it. But y'all, that food was so good. And he let me eat it. I didn't throw it up. I was good. I got to take leftover. So now he don't let me eat a lot. So I think I was able to eat like half the steak and something because I had the salad and stuff first to get my greens in. But then when I came home later, I was able to eat the rest. So I did get it all in. But um, oh, it was good. But anyway, sidetrack yet again. <laughs> what else? Um, let me see. So yeah, I'm doing well. Baby doing well. Feeling moving. So that's definitely, excuse me, a lot of reassuring. Um. Getting the nursery slowly, for surely together. Right now, it's still the guest room, so I have to break everything down that's in the guest room to make it a nursery. So right now, there's a queen size bed in there. There's dressers, but I am going to give the dressers and stuff away. The bed I'm going to keep because I love the bed. And I've worked hard to get that bed, but um, I got some tenants out here, you know, who need the dressers and stuff. So I'm going to give that type of stuff away um, just to make room. But the bed we're keeping. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're excited. Oh, let me show you bump. It's no longer bloat. <clears throat> it is purely bump now. Mm, can you see y'all? But I am carrying small, which is a good thing. I'm not really big. Per the doctors. I'm carrying kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got it? Yeah. Got it. Okay, that was Got technical. It. Yeah. Technical difficulties. We back. <laughs> well, that was funny. I guess they didn't want you to see my bump picture. Let me see. Hold on. You hold that. All right. Let's see. We good? We're good. All right. And I'm not bleeping that out because guess what? That's real life. <laughs> That'd be one of the bloopers. Let go. There we go. There we go. Okay, now so, my face is going to be... All right, blue were real. <laughs> I guess they didn't want you to see my bump. But yes, bump baby's definitely there. He's definitely doing his thing. We are completely excited. Um, I'm just happy I can kind of eat now. Even though he still doesn't like a lot of meat, he's letting me eat some meat. So I'm excited about that. It's the mailman. Every, I'm telling you, when I do these videos, everybody want to come by this office. It gets a lot of traffic. You see, she keep looking to it. It ain't just me. We, we trying to figure out who the hell coming in here. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the COVID, with my office being locked, most of them, they know they got to drop stuff off in the drop box. That's how I'm able to have my little sweetheart here and we can do these little videos because nobody can come in my office. See? Noise yet again. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway, so other than that, we are doing well. Like I said, look at the video before this that shows you the directions or the rules to win the $100 gift card. That is till Friday 
after Friday. That's it. I will be choosing a winner from the people who do submit. So get it in there. You know, I'm ready to see what y'all responses to the questions are. But anyway, y'all, I just talked y'all heads off for about 15 minutes. We had a blooper and some more stuff. Anything else you want to say? No, I'm going to show you some pictures of her nasty toenails. It's ugly. But I'm going to show it to y'all anyway. You know, it's kind of interesting. If you like that yeah. type of stuff. It was kind of interesting. It was, was funny, y'all. I'm going to show you a picture of her in the pain, too, y'all. Listen, when I tell y'all, it was so funny. <laughs> but she took it like a true. But, y'all. I did cry a little. She did cry. It I felt so bad for her. I felt so bad for her. I had to go. I had to go on here, y'all. I had to. I told you right now, this is my big baby coming. I had to take care of her. She was just, it, it made my heart hurt. <laughs> it made my heart hurt to see her hurting like that. I've only seen her hurt like that a couple of times in our relationship. When we first got together, she got something called a boxer's fracture on her hand. And I spent a whole day in the hospital with her. And so she was messed up. And then, you know, she just, she takes pain for the most part pretty well. But to see her hurt like that last ooh. week, ooh. That hurt my little heart. So she hurt my heart like that. I could only imagine what's gonna happen when this baby pain, do. I put it on my enemies. That pain <laughs> could <get> hurt. <laughs> so my poor baby was just so hurt, y'all. So I had to baby her. You know, she'd been going through all these doctor's appointments and stuff with me. So I definitely had to step up to the plate and do the doctor appointments for her. But anyway, y'all, y'all have a great day. Bye. Bye. -bye.